welcome all of you to the third session of testnet gk and in this session once again we will be talking about some 10 questions related to gk the type of questions which appear in the testnet exam every year so if you are a testnet 23 aspirant stay with me till the end of the session there will be some amazing questions discussed but before i start if you are looking for some strategic inputs on testnet preparation or any other mba entrance preparation please subscribe to our channel pathfinder for me and we will come out with some videos which are relevant and if you are looking for some inputs on quantitative aptitude or reasoning please subscribe to our channel mend your math and you will get to see few amazing sessions on quantitative aptitude related to testnet and if you have any queries regarding testnet exam you can call us or whatsapp us on these numbers 9532924689343921347 so with that let's go to our first question who can remove the governor of state from office your options are president prime minister chief minister or the supreme court so governor as far as the constitution is concerned is appointed by the president of india and governor can remain in office technically speaking as long as the president wishes the governor to stay in the office but since president acts upon the advice of the prime minister and his council of ministers practically speaking practically speaking it is the government who is able to appoint or remove a governor at will so the governor can be removed by the president yes and he is appointed also by the president of india and according to his appointment is according to article 155 or 156 and which clearly mentions that as long as the governor enjoys the pleasure of the president he is able to retain uh, or he is able to remain a governor the maximum tenure for which he is appointed is 5 years but there have been many committees in india which have talked about allowing the government uh, allowing the governors to remain in office but practically speaking it is the president and government of india which is able to decide for all practical purposes some of the committees which have mentioned that sarkariya commission venkatchalaya commission and punchi commission they have all said that governor should not be removed uh, only in in very very rare cases should the governor be removed and he should be allowed to continue for 5 years so that he may perform his duties very well in fact punchi commission went as far as saying that we should eliminate the words as long as he enjoys or he enjoys the pleasure of the president but so far this has not happened and the last time we have seen uh governors being removed arbitrarily were in 2010 and even i think in 2015 next question which of the following were the first two states in india which established the panchayati raj in 1956 in fact not in 1956 but in 1957 the correct answer here is rajasthan and andhra pradesh so panchayati raj systems were initiated so that people were allowed some degree of local governance and independence so which were the first committees which talked about local governance balwant rai committee in 1957 it first talked about a three tier panchayati raj system whereby the local governance will be in three levels the first level being the zila parishad and then you have uh, the committees the gram samitis and then you have the gram panchayats so uh, the other committee i'm sorry are ashok mehta committee in 1978 and it gave 132 recommendations to revive the panchayati raj system and then we also had the gvk rao committee which talked about giving more and more importance to the zila parishad in the three tier system So October 2 1959 Bagdari village of Nagaur district in Rajasthan became the first village to have a gram panchayat and on 11th October 1959 Andhra Pradesh became the second state to implement 
a panchayati raj system who's called the father of local governance in india it is lord ripon who, who is the other name which is the other name of george frederick samuel robinson and the three tier system as i already told you com- consists of consists of jilla parishad panchayat samiti and gram panchayat next which of the following is the official language of pallavas now pallavas had two official language out of which only one appears in this option the answers are sanskrit and prakrit both were official languages of pallavas so sanskrit in this case so who were pallavas they were basically rulers in tamil nadu and they ruled for around 600 years right from the late 3rd century late 4th century to um, 9th century ad common era as they call it so they ruled and they were they, they themselves followed the cheras and they were succeeded by the cholas so both sanskrit and prakrit were official languages of the pallavas pallavas late 3rd century to 9th century shiva vishnu was the founder and the capital was kanchipuram preceded by cheras and followed by chola as i just told you some of the famous uh, things built by them shore temple at the mahabalipuram which is it is almost in shambles now and kanchipuram kailas nathar temple next gaur dance is a popular folk dance of which state the correct answer should be chatisgarh and probably even madhya pradesh has a version of gaur dance so it is the maurya tribe which basically performs this form of dance it is also known as the bison dance in english so chatisgarh is the state where this dance is performed you can see this dance associated with the maurya tribes of madhya pradesh and chatisgarh mauryas are mostly located in chatisgarh and this dance form is also known as bison dance and in this form male dancers attack each other and chase female dancers next question putul nach is a traditional rod puppet form of which state so there are many rod puppet forms in india you are all aware the correct answer in this case as the name would itself give away putul nach is west bengal but i can tell you all the other states also have some form of puppetry or the other so what happens here there is one sutradhar or the central character who with his fingers and strings will basically move the puppets and narrate a story that's what happens in puppet dance so putul nach indian puppetry in west bengal in this form of dance dolls are animated animated means brought to life with the use of strings and fingers or hands the dolls have joined bodies and limbs that allow the movements uh the other uh puppetry dance forms in india in andhra pradesh it is koya bomalata in assam it is known as putala nach in maharashtra they are known as kala sutri bahulya in rajasthan they are popular as katputli katputli of course all of us would know orissa they are popular as gopalila next question The famous art festival Kala Ghoda Arts Festival is celebrated annually in which Indian city? The options are Mumbai, Kolkata, Delhi and Bangalore. The correct answer here is Mumbai. So Kala Ghoda Festival is organized by the Kala Ghoda Association and is held in Mumbai every year in February and as I told you organized by Kala Ghoda Association and what does it include? It includes a variety of art forms, visual arts, dance, music, theater cinema literature it also includes workshops and heritage walks and also includes urban design and architecture next dev dipavali festival is celebrated in which indian city your options are varanasi haridwar gangotri and rishikesh the correct answer is varanasi so obviously dev dipavali as the name suggests is celebrated around diwali in fact it is celebrated 15 days after diwali 
and a lot of things happen in the city of Varanasi. Let's have a look. So obviously it's celebrated in the city of Varanasi. So festival celebrated on Kartik Purnima which occurs in the Kartik month of Hindu calendar and usually 15 days after Diwali. The main ritual is Kartik Snan or the holy dip in river Ganga and Deep Dan which is basically offering a earthen lamp. Steps of the Ghats of Ganga on this occasion are lit with more than a million earthen lamps. I'm sure many of you have seen those images in news. And Ganga Motsav is a festival that is celebrated in Varanasi over five day period. And the last day of this festival is the Kartik Purnima. Next question, what is a green muffler? So as the name again suggests, green relates to environment and muffler. So, muffle relates to noise. So, when you want to reduce the noise of something, you will muffle that voice or muffle the noise. We have mufflers in automobiles also. So, green muffler, it is a measure adopted to reduce noise pollution. So, what do they do? They plant trees. So, around residential areas, around areas of highly dense population, they will plant three, four, five rows of trees, generally Ashoka or Neem trees. And these trees are supposed to absorb the noise pollution and hence the term green muffler. Next, which space agency has announced the launch of its first all civilian mission to space? The correct answer is SpaceX. Obviously, uh, the flight was known as Inspiration 4. It is a first crewed orbital mission with no astronaut on board. This happened in September 2021. The person in charge was Jared Isaac Mann, who is the CEO of Shift for 4. Shift for Payments, I'm sorry. Next, the Sun Guy Festival is celebrated in. So it is celebrated in the state of Manipur. Sangai, incidentally, is also the state animal of Manipur. So let us have a look. It is organized by Manipur Tourism, the Sangai festival that is, in the month of November. And it is named after Sangai, which is a rare species of deer found in Manipur. Also, the state animal of Manipur, as I just told you. The primary attractions of Manipur state are the Lok Tak Lake and Kibul Lamjao National Park. So the Loktak Lake, it is in Bishnupur district and the uh, largest freshwater lake in northeast of India. And the Kija, uh, Kibul Lamjao National Park, it is the natural habitat of Sangai. So before I end this session, I would like to remind you for strategic inputs, you can just scan this QR code and subscribe to our channel Pathfinder for me. For inputs on quantitative aptitude or uh, reasoning, you can subscribe to our channel Mend Your Math or you can contact us on 95222-92468-93439-21347. Aspirants of TestNet do connect with us if uh, you wish to prepare for TestNet 2023. We offer comprehensive courses for TestNet. With that, I come to an end of this session. Individually, you can connect with me directly on 98260-62415. My name is Manish Kane. Thank you.